Hi there, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will show you how to program a memory game with Be a Maker app. When you're ready, let's take a look at a recap of our memory game. Here's a revision of our memory game from the previous video. Hey, do you feel like playing my new memory game? Sure. Okay, great. Here we go. I will display the following emoji only once. So, no cheating, please. Are you ready? Yes. Memorize the following emoji from 1 to 5. 1 2 3 4 5 What number represents this emoji? 5 Fantastico! Would you like to play again? Yes. What number represents this emoji? Two. Good for you. Would you like to play again? Yes. What number represents this emoji? Three. Excellent answer. Would you like to play again? Yes. What number represents this emoji? Two. Just saying is one left. Don't give up just yet. You got this. Would you like to play again? Yes. What number represents this emoji? Four. You're good at this. Would you like to play again? No. Okay, thanks for playing. Hope you had fun. See you next time. Since vMaker has limited coding capabilities, we had to go with the long version of programming. For this memory program, we will need 1. Hat block. In this video, we use when quick head tap block. 7. If, then, else blocks. 5. If, then blocks. And 1. Repeat until block. The rest of the blocks are pretty straightforward and you can refer to these block shapes and block categories here for more details. So, let's put it all together. The first if. Then, else block is when Jibo expecting any answers that not contained. No, like this. Second if then else block, we found it to be easier to use if, no, first, then followed by else, and the main logic of this memory game. As you can see here, we used the data blocks to create five custom variables to store five emoji, for dog, cat, or dog. Penguin and pig. We will use these variables throughout the program. Next, we use this repeat block to keep playing the game until the answer is no, then the game is ended. In order for Jibo to display emoji randomly, we need to create another variable which we named it random emoji. And we use an operator block, pick random, 1 to 5. This will display our random emoji from 1 to 5. The first if then block used to set a condition after a random emoji was selected. 
So, if a random number 1 is chosen, then Jibo asks for a corresponding number that represents the emoji. In this case, number 1 is a dog emoji, so we used variable dog that we created earlier. So, when we ask the question, it's usually followed by a condition block, if, then, else statements. In this case, if the answer is 1, then Jibo says this, or else, he will say something else. And after the else block, Jibo asked, would you like to play again? This will trigger a condition, within a repeat block, to either continue playing, if answers is yes, or no, to stop the game. We also add, a changed block towards the end of repeat until blocks to change random emoji by one and to avoid seeing the same emoji twice in a row the rest of if then and if then else blocks are corresponding to the rest of the random numbers of emoji And there you have it, Jibo Memory Game. I hope this video will help someone created the first memory game. Note that, we could create a list of 5 emoji, but the app has limited coding capabilities, so we went with the workaround. Thank you for watching, and hope we didn't leave out any important elements in this memory program. If you have any questions about this video, please comment below. Until next time, be well, and have a great week.